Hey everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop Lone Star Mopars.com. Sunday afternoon and things are about to get good. It is that time again. We have got KC Tool Hall number seven. And I have waited a long time for this one. Uh, cashed in on some of the sales Vera was having in the first quarter and had a whole bunch of other stuff on the order. <laughs> and subsequently, I guess Jadora, they were doing something where they moved their distribution center. Long story short, a couple of their items took an eternity to come in. So when I placed the order, it was March 23rd, and uh, the ship date was April 30th. So uh, what we have is right here in this giant little box. Not huge, I should say, but it's a decent sized box. What I'm going to do here is I continue to try to get the camera to uh, serve myself and you as best it can. <laughs> what I'm going to try this time, uh, to me, I prefer to open the box and just pull stuff out. It's more natural, right? At least in my opinion it is. But I think what I'm going to do this time is just I'm going to throw one item at a time down on the table. Uh, it'll either be the bare metal or the white. I've done a video with some Kinipex stuff with a white backdrop. And I thought it was good on the camera. And then when I came in and actually looked at the footage when I was editing it, I, it was terrible. I was doing the same thing with the white backdrop. So uh, I think we're going to just go ahead and do one item at a time. Or I might throw a couple down and uh, we'll take it in a stride. But uh, as always, please know that I am trying to make the camera function. Again, this is the fanciest camera I've ever had. Uh, and it doesn't shoot video as good as a little cheap Canon uh, power shots or whatever they were called back when I was a kid. Anyway, we're going to get started. We'll see how it turns out and we will take it from there. All right, so first thing first here, we've got, uh, and I do want to mention before I get off to rambling here, if you're interested in seeing what I have, if you don't like the surprise or you don't care about spoiling it, if you scroll down in the description, I actually timestamp every single item and provide a link to it. Uh, that way, if you just want to see what we have, if it's anything of interest to you, if you've seen it unboxed or reviewed a million times, you can skip it. Uh, whatever works best for you. But right here, uh, we've got just another Vera advertising flyer. They seem to be the king of getting their flyers included. Uh, Joker's still on sale. They've got some uh, new stainless hex keys. The Easter eggs, if you were interested in those, they are on sale now as well. Uh, nothing too crazy out of the norm there. Something that I was really excited about when I ordered is KC Tool has changed things up. Of course, we're still getting our bit of things. If you recall, this was always a number two Philo bit. I uh, had Philo and KC Tool both stamped. That is not the case anymore. This is going to be a situation uh, where we have, please enjoy this complimentary German-made VIA bit. Our way of saying thank you for your business. Now, that's not all. It's not like they ditched Philo and went with VIA. There are 24 unique bits. This one is actually number 11 of 24 that is thrown in at random. Uh, obviously, you're going to need to order 24 times to try and get the complete set. But will you get any duplicates? Will one of them be ultra rare? Who knows? I have no idea how they structure this. Uh, best thing you can do is if you've ordered, come in and say, hey, I got bit 11. I got bit 11 too. I got bit 11 as well. You know, they're trying to unload those on us. Who has gotten bit one? No one has bit one. It'll be real interesting, in my opinion, to kind of see. I assume it's just done at random. Uh, if something was like super, super valuable, it wouldn't be thrown in as a giveaway. <laughs> but uh, it is neat, though, because now if you've got a stockpile of number two bits, which you can never really have too many of, uh, we can actually come in and uh, see what we've got. I have no idea what the others are. You'd literally probably have to watch other people's videos to learn that. But uh, 71563 is a part number. This is a T10 titanium coated Torx bit, and I think that deserves getting a look at. And uh, what I decided we'd try to do here with this first round is throw down everything from one manufacturer in the order and then see what happens. But uh, right there, which I'm not even going to waste our time trying to get it to focus, but it's tiny and it actually looks really nice. It's got the titanium coating on the top half. It's got the part number, uh, VHA stamped on one side. No KC tool designation, but uh, if you needed T10 stuff, I guess I hit the jackpot here. I've got a titanium coated one. So, uh, With that said, we're going to move into Jadora here. This is what held the order up. and uh, From what I understand, I think things are kind of getting ironed back out with their distribution schedule. But for a grand total of $1.85, that's right, one of these items that I bring in, this one right here. I'm not going to lie, when I ordered this, I thought it was a small notepad. I guess I should have paid attention to the specs if they were provided. You know, I was just thinking kind of like I get it work from all the suppliers, and it's just nice to have in the shop to write things off on a to-do list, what I need to pick up, parts, etc. 
This has a very interesting, I don't believe I can think of many times I've seen that. Um, I guess it would be like for the fat D-ring binders maybe. Uh, typically everything in America has got three punches on the side. But uh, this is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the plastic. I also did think this might work as a backdrop <laughs> since the white paper uh, that I had wasn't working too great. But uh, we will see. Maybe we'll deploy it here. Uh, nothing crazy. I don't remember how many sheets it was, but for $1.85, I don't think it's a bad deal. And it's actually kind of nice. It's got the grid lines. If you need to draw things out, it comes in quite handy. All right, I stopped the video. I didn't like what I was seeing with the camera, so we're just going to try the bare metal table. Uh, this is what the table work surface looks like underneath my rubber mat. And we're going to get started right here because this is one of the items from Jador that held things up considerably. This was their rescue knife. Now, when I bought it, I know it's currently listed for $28.99. Part number is going to be GR3-100-464. Uh, you can also probably find it SB6952-00. $28.99 is what it should come up as. When I got it, I think I was pretty sure it was under $14. I want to say $13.99. Cool thing here, and I had no idea, it actually looks like it comes with a sheath, so that'll be handy. We'll see if it's a belt clip or not. Uh, that is all in, it's got the glass breaker, it's got a belt cutter, <laughs> it's going to be seat belts if you're unaware. Uh, tempered blade with a partial serration and a wide range of uses. So this is, I believe, made in China, sadly. But I've had a knife very similar to this that has served me quite well. So what I'm going to do off camera is come in with the Milwaukee and cut this open and we'll take a look at it. And we'll continue to evaluate how the camera is doing. Alright, so we're back. There is the packaging. We've obviously gotten the knife freed here. Uh, it's not a bad looking knife, uh, but we do have a protective cap there on the blade. We spin it around, locks in place quite nicely. Uh, decent weight to it, decent feel, fairly well balanced. Not super nice, but I mean, what can you expect for you know the price point? Uh, I'm a sucker for the black and the blue stuff. It also has kind of the weight reduction, which I was a fan of. Uh, the glass breaker is going to be right here on the tip, which I think you can kind of see that there. Uh, it's no different than any other glass breaker, really. We've got the ability to kind of cut wires there. And then, of course, we have got the flip-out mechanism. And catch is going to be there. Folds in quite nicely. It's got the Jajor branding prominently shown. Now, the catch is the holster. Actually, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it is nice it was included. It kind of helps soften the price point a little bit. Uh, it's nothing like you would give it like a buck knife or anything back in the day. But uh, it is nice. It is included. Can we get the button? To clear kind of let's see what that looks like not a bad setup really and I mean especially when you consider I paid about half price for this uh, if this was $30 I would seriously uh, suggest you look elsewhere but if you can catch this on tool of the day or you can pick it up on sale uh, I would have no no reasons not to recommend it especially if you're a fan of the brand uh, or you just like the aesthetics of the knife what this looks like to me, I'm not sure if any of you will be familiar, but I believe the company is like M2 Ballistics. And I picked this up at a local hardware store a couple of years back, and it prominently had Made in America, you know, American company or something along those lines. And then when I studied the knife, I realized it was actually made in China. That said, the knife has been really good. I primarily used it at work, uh, packing tape. I find it better to carry a knife than a box cutter. I'm just kind of that type of a person, I guess. I like the slimmer profile. My box cutter is really awesome, but it's fat. It's one of these really old ones from the 90s. Really, really good design. That said, I don't like lugging that thing around in my pocket, so I carry the knife. I can cut rope. Uh, I can cut small cable if I have to, which I typically don't have to resort to that. Uh, but it goes through the stretch wrap, the miles and miles and miles of stretch wrap I have to cut through seemingly on a daily basis. And I've actually been fairly impressed with it. I've sharpened it once, and this looked very similar. I was hoping it was of higher quality, Obviously, that's something that only time is going to tell me, but uh, if you do need to flip it out, you can articulate it very easily with a thumb. I did that looking off to the side. Uh, just for confirmation, made in China. Discreetly worded right there. So that is a knock on it. I wish it was German. I wish they had made it there, Slovenia, somewhere uh, Europe. But like I said, it looks very similar to my uh, M2 ballistics that I've had very good luck with. So I think it is a little bit heavier and I say that because it's a uh, different housing uh, but it, it's a good looking knife so if you've used this let me know uh, if you've just gotten it in as well hopefully we got a good product but again uh, added perk that it comes with the belt pouch so with that said it's time to move on to our next offering from Jadora and that is going to be 
right here. If you're thinking, hey, that, that thing looks really familiar. Well, it should, and that's because we have brought this in. This is their 10-inch uh, grip wrench. Price was $39.27. Again, I would have not paid that because when I ordered all this stuff, it was actually on uh, sale promotions through Jadora. Part number would be GR6400600. And again, just real quick, I absolutely love this thing. If you use vice grips a lot, this is the best design I have ever used, and it has solely to do with this lever that extends beyond and is padded. And if you're somebody who frequently has to use these, whether you're securing cabinets or uh, holding stamps or grinding something, you know, and you need a solid grip, what you will run into is you constantly seem to pinch yourself. And then, of course, when they break, you always have to reset them. You know exactly what I'm talking about if you use these a lot. I brought that one in. I was very impressed with it on the bench. I don't remember how many months ago it has been now, but I have used it. I have had zero issues, and my only problem with it is I got to the point where I was wishing that I had more of them. <laughs> and so uh, I believe I remember the price I paid on sale was $21.42. Knipex has something very, very similar to this. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more pricey. But if you are in the market, if you're looking to upgrade your vice grip collection or you just are sick and tired of being pinched by them, I cannot recommend this enough. If you see me bring something in a second time, it's not because the first one sucked, it's because I liked the first one. And if I like it well enough to bring it in again, that means I am very, very content. So, uh, I will leave it at that for that one, and let's go ahead and move on again to this item. This will be a uh, two-pack for you. This is just something I threw in. It's a true story. I brought in this style Villa pin a while back and I actually really liked it. It was blue and it just wrote really well in my opinion. I think it might have been Swiss made when I researched it back in the day. This one is ST91708032.18. I think I didn't pay that either. Uh, prices went up and again there were several sales running back when I ordered all this in March. This one though I have never had. <laughs> it's from Jadora. It's not near as heavy uh, as the Stav Villa pin, but it's blue. It's got the Jadora logo and it's going to be a twist to open, twist to shut. Spring is very responsive in that and since we, we popped for the Jadora writing pad here, let's see what we can do here. This is five, five, 2019, so it is blue as well, right? Let <laughs> me double check, yes. I'm a big fan of blue pens, it's what I prefer. Uh, obviously the first stroke didn't have some ink on, but I was actually, again, really impressed with this one. If you don't believe me, I've got it over here. I actually keep it in the screwdriver stand. It fits really well in the KC Tool Precision Screwdriver Stand. That way I always have it on the bench, and I thought I'd just go ahead and pick this one up, have it join it. Let me double check the fitment there. Jadora one drops in perfectly too, so like I said, if you're an artist, <laughs> uh, you got pins, map colors, colored pins, sharpies, KC tool stand doing double duty. Jadora one, uh, it set me back, it's 71 cents, so it's about the third of the price of the Stah Villa if you want to stock up on them. GR2981629 is the part number. Uh, I want to go ahead, when we uh, pulled the video out, uh, I pulled this off the table. This is actually available as a standalone part. Uh, if you type in KCT Pack, you can pay $9.99 and actually pick this up. Or if you order, I believe, $99 or more, you can get it for free. And it's not hard to do that, particularly if you wait. Uh, if it's a situation where you're coming in and you're like, man, you know, I really want that tool of the day, that's understandable. You know, if you pick that up and it's, you know, 35 bucks and there's really nothing else you need. But if it's a scenario where you're just patiently waiting, you know, you're saving up and you're like, man, I'm going to buy this set of pliers from NWS. I want that level from Stabilo, uh, that Stavillo wrench set, uh, the Philo wooden handle drivers. Going to get that fancy smancy ratchet from Hazette. If you play your cards right, it's not very difficult to spend a hundred dollars at a time, and then you get, you know, in addition to the free shipping, which I want to say that's thirty-five dollars. Uh, they're very low for free freight at KC Tool. Uh, thirty-five there gets you free freight, ninety-nine plus sticker pack territory. So, uh, what we've got here, that is the sticker. We've got uh, Philo, Stavilla, Stabila, NWS, Jadora, Knipex, which I actually like that one. Very small. I don't think I have it either. Uh, Vera, we got KC Tool. I think that's a little smaller than I remember. Uh, 
the Axe Company, I think, Viha and Hazet, which it's kind of cool that they just use the branding and don't have the company name on there. I assume that's because they're that well recognized in the industry or something. Uh, I think German Tools was the first I saw that I actually got these in the sticker pack with one of his orders. Uh, when he pulled them around, checked them all out, they look to be cut from the same sticker stock. It's not like you're going to get really good quality with Stavilla and KC Tool and the NWS as a crud sticker. They're all of the same consistency, which that actually is a big deal if you're someone that's, you know, big on stickers. <laughs> so, uh, once again, if you do want this, $9.99 is a price. Not a terrible deal, especially if you're a big fan of some of the brands. Uh, I believe they're consistent with this setup every single time. I could be mistaken. Uh, of course, back in the day, they would just throw some in at random. And then, of course, some people would get VI over and over and over again and never see the Vera one. So uh, it's kind of a cool deal. And again, $9.99 if you do want to pick those up separately. With that said, let me set this back. Get back. The table seems to be working well so far. Uh, what I want to do is bring in what I picked up from Philo. And it's probably, I know, some of you are like, another screwdriver, seriously? No, it's not. Uh, what this is, this is their nylon belt pouch. Going to be part number 50456. And the reason I picked this up, it was like stupid cheap. 1069 is what's listed. I want to say I got it for like five something. Uh, I don't know if, it might have been on sale actually. But this is, uh, it looked to be really good quality, and it is. I've had several uh, nylon pouches that looked of the same design when you were to pull up images of them online. And I got to say, this one looks to fit the bill. Now, what I'm struggling with, I thought, okay, it is Velcro. So where does that catch? <laughs> Actually, way up here, I guess, is what it's going to do. Yeah, so that's a little awkward. It's not quite, I thought it would flip down like this, of course, and then you spring it up. Now, the good news is with the Velcro contact being here and right there, when it is in function, which of course will get this kind of straightened out over time, you know, kind of a full, it should look roughly like that. It's been stuck in that plastic bag for a long time. But I thought, number one, this would work good with uh, pliers, and I thought I could also get by with some screwdrivers. Reason I bring this up, a couple of uh, weeks ago now, it was shortly, uh, I think it was the week prior to me ordering this, I had to stay late at work and replace an airline, or air hose I should say, and uh, run a 50 footer. And what I do, I come up off the wall and then instead of running like 15 plus feet or so across the shop floor, uh, we basically, you know, if this is the wall, the Milwaukee knife, and then my finger, picture it being like an angle iron <laughs> set up, there's a hinge on the wall back here, it drops in, it swivels, you know, 180 degrees or so. I've got it, you know, triangulated back drag, works really well, but basically, it just keeps the airline off the ground. And when I was up there, you know, I secure it with cable ties, it's nothing fancy, but it's beautifully functional. The problem I had is that I was trying to flush cut the cable ties. You know, no one ever is going to be up there. I'll be the next person that goes up there, and it'll be to replace that line uh, a couple years down the line, if you will. But I was having such a hard time, and I was on a really rickety old aluminum ladder, and I kept having to, like, you know, either hold the cable ties in my mouth or the pliers because they would want to fall out of my pocket. And I thought, man, you know, if I just had a stupid little, you know, like, belt pouch on me, I could keep the cable ties and the pliers in there and pull them out because obviously the more cable ties you lose, you use the neater of an installation and of course if you don't have something to keep them contained, it's more likely that you lose them and you have to descend the ladder, grab them and go back up. That's why I purchased this and again at the time I think I got it for like five or eight dollars. Uh, I thought it was going to be a very, very worthwhile investment. So uh, that is it from Philo. What I want to do now is uh, bring in my, my big ticket item from Knipex. All right. You sitting down? I hope you are. I hope you've braced yourself. I've gotten some pretty cool pliers from Knipex over the years. But I tell you what, this one, it had to be double plastic bag. Now, there's the first one. I know what you're thinking. Oh, no. You know, must have must have popped on some more five-inch Cobras or... <laughs> Maybe got the really, really small plier wrench, right? Oh no, no, it's better than that. Part number 926444. Some of you probably probably gone off and pulled it up already, huh? <laughs> so what is it? What mystery item from Knipex do we have here? Well, there's the uh, inner inner piece, and you're thinking, wait, that's really small. Do you hear it? 
Does that ring a bell for anyone from your childhood? <laughs> All right. Check it out. This this is something I've had on my wish list for a really long time. And I always thought they were ridiculously expensive. What I plan to do with this is going to be automotive side, electrical stuff, fuse pullers. I've still got glass fuses. And the plastic pullers, there's so many times you can't actually nestle that around the glass fuse. What I found works best is needle nose coming in on the side. But I always wondered if tweezers would be a better option. <laughs> And needless to say, for I believe, what did I pay? Fourteen oh eight. I might have paid a little less than that, but that's what they're currently listed for. Uh, if you hear me debating the prices, I go with what's current price whenever stuff comes in. Uh, plus, the picking list doesn't show what you paid, so I kind of, you know, instead of me printing stuff off, which I don't have a printer uh, here at the house, I just kind of roll that way. Now these are significantly larger than I expected. At first, I was like, man, that sucks. But then I was like, you know what? No, that's actually going to be good. The business end is a little large, you know, than I was thinking it would be as well. But for what I'm doing, I think it's going to work fine. And the fact that they are bigger, uh, I was very, very happy with as I thought about it. Because I was thinking, man, you know, that's going to fit my hands better. I've got pretty big hands. I've got big fingers, of course, with the big hands. And, I mean, look at that. You've got that little pad with the ribbing. Very positive feel. I mean... I don't know. They seem like they're going to be pretty good for what I'm trying to do. Uh, and really, if you look at the prices on tweezers that aren't like from Walmart or Target, <laughs> I had no idea they were that pricey of an item. Like, I would assume you'd pay like 10 bucks for these, <laughs> you know. Uh, I was wrong. Uh, you're welcome to go type in tweezers on KC Tool or Amazon. You will be amazed at the price that some tweezers are. Uh, but I felt like this was a pretty good entry point. It's probably the only set I will ever need to pick up. I'll see how I like them. I can report back. And uh, if you can see it there, just above my uh, fold in the hand, you've got the Kinepex branding and the part number. So uh, that was it from Kinepex. I'm going to pull out, I guess, the next round of stuff, which I believe will be Viha. And we will be wrapping this one up. All right, I forgot to actually include this one. This is the other item that really, really held the order up, and it was very cheap. But EH-102 uh, or 303 will be able to pull this one up for you. This is from Jadora. This is a wooden stand. You might see this one if you uh, have their uh, punches, chisels and punch set, right? And I decided I'd go ahead and bring it in this way and kind of throw in some punches I have and probably ultimately... Hope I can catch the uh, punches in stock and on sale. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and make use of our fancy little knife here. And I've been playing with the camera, and I'm not super happy with what we had. But let's go ahead and pull this one out. That's cool. So it's got Torx that actually holds that together. Uh, there it is. This is uh, not as big as the camera's making it seem, but uh, we've basically got one, two, three, four, six slots here. And let's grab our Jadora pin. It's going to work really nicely for that. Stavilla pin. <laughs> That's also a go. They're a little loose, obviously. They're intended specifically for that. Now, this Milwaukee, which I don't think I've ever talked about those, but I really do like them. Uh, I like Sharpies just fine, but I found these work better for like weird items, uh, you know, like rough and nasty stuff. They still write decently on them. Ink Zolls, I believe is what they're called. That fits really good in there. Now, if we were to come in and grab the little Jadora deburring tool, which probably shouldn't be put in loaded, fits quite well. <laughs> if the blade wasn't there, I think it would be really in business now. Uh, will precision screwdrivers work? A little too tall on that one. You could probably have some shorter ones that would fit. But you kind of get the idea. It's intended, again, for chisels and punches. But small files, pins, anything of that nature uh, is going to be just fine, in my opinion. And i got to say, it's actually a pretty nice piece. Uh, but again, it's just a wooden stand. Very, very smooth. Nicely done on the drop-ins. You can quickly identify things here. It's nice how they actually... Uh, designed that in my opinion uh backside if you wanted to add anything on to it you could put your name whatever uh but again nice to see some torx fasteners there uh, is that a t10 <laughs> we uh we might have to pull out our newest little bit here i think it's gonna be bigger yeah it's probably a 15 but hey we were so close maybe in the next order i <laughs> can get a t15 for it Pretty nice little stand, especially considering you can get it for $870. So if you're ever curious what the stand looked like or if you could use it for anything else, 
now you know. Uh, with that said, I think we are ready to move on to the next brand, so we'll get on to that. All right, so we're now moving on to the end here. We've got some stuff from Viha, and I'll just go ahead and throw it down for you. Right there. If you're looking at these and you're like, wait, is that the Impact Pocket Go Box? That is correct. Both of these are, in fact. And if you're thinking, wait, you, you bought that, you've done a standalone video on it, that would also be correct. And again, uh, just as I mentioned with the Jadora Grip Wrench, if you see me bring something in, you know, again, or in this case, two times over, that would be because I was really happy with what we had picked up. Now, this one, uh, you can currently get it for $28.99, I believe, from KC Tool. I got these for when they were still on sale from... Uh, the 1999 promotional days so uh, really really solid deal I basically got both of these for almost what you would currently pay for one set uh, I've got the video on it if you want to check those out I'll try to have it linked below as well but essentially what you get this is all really really good stuff it's also kind of interesting this is sort of like the more customary VHA packaging I'm used to. When I brought these in from VHA Direct, it was actually in a blister pack that was really easy to open. But that's what you get. I mean, it's a tiny little thing. fits in the palm of your hand. And check it out. If you were unaware of what's included, you've got a 72-tooth bit ratchet, which is pretty crazy. And then you get this. This is their impact bit holder. It's $9.99-ish, somewhere in that range, typically, uh, if you want to pick it up standalone. And then you get all of those bits, which I've gone over, you know, like I said, in two other videos now. But this thing right here is almost worth the $19.99 asking price. It and the ratchet really are, in my opinion. And I've loved this thing. This is like the quick release one, which if I can articulate it with one hand there, you can kind of see me springing that collar down. What I've run into, uh, I've used it a whole lot. I've had to do a ton of fence repair here in the last couple of weeks. And when I'm shooting the screws through, oh, that's my bit holder. I have one of them, which I think it was the first one that I bought because I brought that in standalone long before these ever existed. And I've actually got a bit stuck in it. Uh, I guess it just like torqued over or something. I can't get it out and I was really bummed out about it. But I had this thing in the bag um, with my rigid impacts and everything. So I pulled it out, threw it in the impact to make use of. And then I thought, man, you know, I might need that. Uh, and so I went ahead and picked it up this way as well. So uh, the plan with these, I'm going to keep this one in the shop. I'm taking this one to work. It's going to go in my desk. Uh, that's a really good bit selection, getting the ratchet as well, and of course the bit holder. And then ultimately, I've got the one that I always have in the bag with the impact and the drill. So $19.99 is what I paid. They might be on sale again at some point in time. I could see it being a big deal item maybe in the future. This was just kind of an introductory special promotional price, the 20 bucks, and uh, worth every single penny in my opinion. But uh, with that said, we got quite a bit more stuff from Viha, so let's get to it. Up next, man, I have wanted to check this thing out for a really, really long time. Uh, this and one other item is really what I wish I had, but I didn't want to make them like pay freight two times over for me. Uh, so I patiently waited, but uh, let me find it here. This is... Da -da -dun. 91473 cost 1272 it's a little cheaper on KC tool than if you go direct through Viha these were new items introduced I think just a little bit after the impact go boxes they've got several new uh, storage pouches and stuff like that but this was 1272 from KC tool and let's just go ahead here looks like it's got some tape let's pull that off there's just a myriad of potential uses for something like this. Uh, obviously, if you're an electrician or something, this would work really, really good with like pliers wrench. Uh, a couple of, you know, standard four, six inch screwdrivers, I think, would drop in there. It does have the little lanyard here, so you can clip it to something, D ring it, whatever you need to do. But we'll open it up. I don't think there's anything fancy on the inside. You know, there's like no dedicated pockets or slips for screwdrivers. Anything precision is going to drop in. So let's go ahead. We'll pretend we're going on a job site. We got a marker. We got our Stavilla pin, the expensive one, three times the price of the Jadora. <laughs> uh, we need a triple zero, we'll say. We'll drop that in. And let's go ahead and grab, I don't know, an insulated number two. Seems like a common usage. So this one right here, that's uh, going to be standard four inch, 100 millimeter fits really nicely. I don't know that you'd be able to put a six inch. Let me see if we can get one here. The number three is 150 millimeters. 
Yeah, you can kind of do the math there. The good news is at an angle, I think you could kind of get it in there. But I would say <clears throat> probably 125 millimeters, five inches and smaller. You're home free with this thing. Uh, any pliers you want to drop in, you're good. And the knives obviously would fit really well. Uh, smaller pliers, if you have something crazy, it's not going to fit. But that's going to work super, super good. The other thing you can do with it, bits the bit packs the bit holders all those items are going to be really really well served by something like this and that's exactly what i plan to do with it uh, currently like i mentioned when we took a look at the go box i've got that in there with my uh impacts i'm thinking i'm going to have this one with you know the other set and then maybe some other bits that i use frequently uh, they've got some really cool bit packs actually and i started to bring one in but i didn't uh, just because I've had really good luck with the lifespan of the Terminator bits. So the T25s, uh, that's again what I'm always having to use at work it seems like. So uh, nonetheless, 1272, uh, whatever you need to do. I mean, if you want to keep stamps, coins, you know, uh, metal punches, your burned up inserts from the lathe, whatever you do, or you want in a nice little storage pouch that's not expensive but is of good quality, I think it's a good option. Gray and black color scheme here. You got the new logo. You got the old logo and red tools that work for you. Uh, that is fully stitched, as you can see there. I'm not an expert in materials or anything, but I know that things that have felt like this in the past that I've owned have held up quite nicely. So obviously, if you're throwing box cutters or knives in there, make sure they're shut. That could greatly decrease the lifespan of anything along these lines. But 1272 I am pretty happy with that thing so uh, if you've had this if you picked up any of their new storage pouches let me know how you're liking them what you're using them for if they're serving you well and uh, just get information to have but uh, this one if it uh, works out well for me it's something I will probably keep on tab for future projects as well so this would also work really good if you've got like a toolkit in your car uh, sort of like the phyllo boxes, the small stuff. Uh, you could throw, obviously, like a, a rail of sockets. Ratchets would fit very well in here. Uh, again, it's just kind of whatever you've come up with. This pocket size here is going to work really well. Uh, rough overall dimensions, we'll say 9.5 by 8. And again, that's really, really rough. It's going to depend how you stretch it, how you stand it. <laughs> but... Uh, I like it. I think it's going to come in handy. So uh, let's continue on down the line. It's another big box. This is item number 40430. This is actually from Viha. And let me find it on the packing list here. 1129 is what it's currently listed for. You'll probably never guess what this is. You know me. You're thinking, okay, what'd you do? You know, it must be some uh, eight inch micro finish screwdriver or something crazy like that, right? <laughs> well, would a micro finish screwdriver come with bubble wrap? I don't know. It might. Well, they should. They're very nice drivers. But let's take a look. What do we have wrapped away? Can you see it yet? Some of you might have might have identified it. Have a rough idea. It's like number thirty. Took a look at this one, or that's actually going to be the length. <laughs> I guess. Uh, let me go ahead and get this thing out. This is a thirty millimeter. Uh, base inspection here and it's actually stainless or it's I believe claims to be somewhere it's actually stamped quite nicely there very decent finish on this I have to say now obviously what I'm concerned about is that side right there looking back at the camera and what I plan to do with this believe it or not my inspection mirror you know what it's been it's one of those ones that the orthodontist gives you when you're like 15 years old <laughs> you know to like check in on your braces or whatever and it's plastic and it's really like terrible it was one of those ones if you put it in your mouth to actually use it like they intend you to do it would fog over instantly and i've actually had such terrible luck with that back in the day that i was like you know screw it i could use this for car stuff so i did <laughs> and it kind of sucked for that too now this one it does not have a swivel head i think we could uh bend it if we had to but again do so at your own detriment it's a very I don't know. I think it's going to work for what I need it to do. Uh, situation at hand, I've got uh, leak and freeze plugs on the RAM back to you. I say back to you, I mean the two back sides. Uh, back ones, obviously, I can't see. But the other ones I can't see, the front two, left and right, they're both mint. They look like a factory, you know, um, just brand new installation. 
there's two though in the middle that I can't see very well because they're obstructed by the motor mounts. Uh, if this was an LA type of an engine it wouldn't be the issue but with a Magnum and the way they do it on a four wheel drive it's a problem and so I'm hoping this is going to help solve it. I want to take a good look at those and determine if I'm better off pulling the motor uh, or just kind of going to town. Past that it's going to come in handy for a myriad of things particularly if you drop stuff or you're looking for it. <laughs> uh, valve train where it comes to mind. Electrical stuff uh, up under the dash sometimes you could just kind of spin it and take a look uh, but it seems to be a pretty decent tool there's the Viha branding this is made in Pakistan and again some of these just like the tweezers from Kinepex I told you you would be shocked what some of this stuff costs there are some very expensive inspection mirrors in the world I'm not sure who's buying them and what they're doing at the prices they're listed at and assuming that they've been bought in the past the only people that would spend that kind of money would be medical <laughs> and uh, you know that's that's another story in and of itself but uh, for roughly uh, 12 bucks right I think we did pretty good here so I'll see how this works not setting the world on fire but hey it is something something to consider next up from Viha this is part number 72014 this is a replacement bit socket for quarter inch drives quarter square drive bits I should say 379 is the price again there's your part number 72014 if I can get my fingers in here, I'll be able to drop this out. This is kind of a, uh, a very neat little item in my opinion. What this is going to do, obviously if you've got a bit ratchet, it's kind of overkill. If you're not a fan of bit ratchets, you hate bit, rat bit ratchets, whatever it might be. Check this out. I've got my free KC tool number 11 of 24, and we're going to drop that in. We'll obviously have to loosen that a little bit. But this is one of those adjustable sockets that I really liked when I brought in my torque stuff. But the catch is it's quarter drive. So I can stick that in and then I can come in and put my set screw back and just go to town with this on a quarter drive ratchet. There's many, many times in life you don't want a 3 8 drive. One, for clearance issues, but number two, just for the brute strength. You're better off having something like this. And... Uh, I think it's a nice little setup here. So again, you're going to have a set screw that'll lock that in place. Truth be told, I don't think you'd have any issues like this and then you could quick change it. Plus, I assume a lot of people will lose that tiny, tiny set screw. What size is it? I'm not sure. I'll check that off camera and tell you when we take a look at our next item. So here's a better look for you. Uh, does anyone know just off the top of your head what size it is? Any guesses? You can see my VI hex key set down there. This turns out to be a two millimeter hex key. So as we send that down, we'll pull this up again. You can see 2.0 is missing. That's what it is. And then ultimately what that's going to allow you to do, if you don't have a bit ratchet, you can come in and you can utilize that in this manner. And I just think that's really, really cool. By the way, follow up on this Stavilla ratchet that I got in quarter drive. Love it. The more I've used the thing, the more I've been impressed by it. But, uh, I gotta say, little things like this, they're just a really, really cool tool. Again, it's like three bucks. Gonna come in very, very handy for you. It also sounds like a tornado is descending upon me. Uh, so if you never never see this video, know that uh, I died a happy man. But, uh, that said, we got one more set of items to take a look at. So let's uh, try to crank that out before the uh, twister just drops down. All right, so here we are. We are to the end of KC Tool Hall number seven, and I've got a bag with three tricks for you, and they are right here. So, uh, what tool hall is complete without some more screwdrivers? None of them. Now, the catch is uh, these actually are going to be a little different than you're accustomed to. First off, I want to say this one right here is in our familiar Viha soft finish. Catch is if you're looking at it, and you're like, man, what is that? That's, that's not Phillips. Well, it's not. Uh, this is going to be. Uh, T25 basically this is kind of the special fancier version which I'm just gonna try out and I'm not gonna lie when I ordered this I thought it had a blue handle I thought it was a VHA soft finish but where the red is I thought it was blue uh, that's the way it was portrayed that is not the case for anyone bringing this one in uh, the part number on this is going to be uh, 36243 costs all of 668 and where this is going to benefit me greatly, I can tell you right now, is the crates that I have to unpack at work. Because what happens uh, when I typically come in and run the T25 stuff, I've got the big bits, right? And then I've got my bit holder and then the impact. So many times, whoever has assembled the crate has sunk it into the wood. 
I get to a point where I can't descend with my bit. Like, it's just too big. The collar on it doesn't even clear. You know, when they sink it into the wood, you know, an extra, like, inch, <laughs> you're kind of up a creek. So where this is going to come in handy, note that that is a smooth, thin shaft the entire length. I could essentially come in if they were drilling through wood that thick, which they wouldn't because, you know, 2x4 construction. I can get to it, and that's going to be a very, very nice thing. So uh, that one was 668. Now uh, we're going to come in and grab this guy. Ooh, that's my first time feeling this one. This is just standard T25, not the fancy one. This one was also 668, interestingly enough. This is VHA 36240. It's their power handle. And uh, that's kind of an interesting design. It feels good in hand. This is obviously a step down from the soft finish. And what I really brought these in for, aside from being useful for me at work, it's going to be a scenario where I can finally compare the soft finish versus the 3K versus, in this case, the power handle. And in case number three, we're actually gonna have what I think is gonna be one of their final ones. This is just their pro turn. Part number 45536, this one is Super cheap, 379 for the T25. And obviously it's gonna be of, you know, lower quality materials, if you will. But essentially you've got the Pro Turn, the power handle, and the soft finish. Now what's crazy again, 379, that's like, yeah, to be expected. You're like, man, I can get two of those for that price, or I can add a T20 or 30 that I use frequently and come in less or about the same as one of those. What's weird to me is that the uh, power handle Thunder's getting ominous, isn't it? Uh, that the power handle is actually the same price as a soft finish. You would think 379, you know, like 450, six bucks, right? But that is not the case. Now, one of the cool things, obviously nothing on the handle there. Nothing on this one either. That's a very interesting feel though. I've never experienced either one of these. But check it out, soft finish coming in, king of the park. It's got the 25 IP. That's kind of like, you know, the Torx Plus type stuff. Um, it'll work with standard, but it's it's just the better bit. I haven't really researched it fully. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of like, uh, where is Hex Plus technology, right? It's just sort of a better functioning tool. That's what we have here. Uh, so it's really neat that we're getting that step up in technology and the soft finish for the same price. But ultimately, I just wanted these to experience the different handles I don't really object to that, although it seems kind of like it would get slick, particularly when it's warm in the summertime or your hands are greasy. This one, I think, would be a little bit more impervious to those situations, but I don't like the feel of it near as well as I do the soft finish. But again, pro turn, power handle, soft finish. Big deal, <laughs> at least for me. And uh, that way, I don't have to use the fold-out keys anymore. This one in particular, uh, it's going to go to work because I can just drop that down and whatever they've done, you know, you don't typically recess those, you know, it's just whoever's assembling things or paying attention. And when they go to town on it and it gets that deep down, I can't get my bits in there on the impact and that means I have to do it manually until I clear, you know, the cavity. So this is going to be a godsend, if you will, for me. and. Uh, I think it looks like a pretty quality piece. So once again, 668 for both of these, you know, same price, and then 379 for the uh, Pro Turn. But I think that's going to be the one that I'm going to like the best. <laughs> that said, I believe that is everything. Again, this is a very big tool haul. I'm going to get everything back out as we close the video, and we'll see how the camera does. I was about to end the video and I realized we forgot the big ticket item. This is the reason that I ordered all this stuff when I did. This is from Vera. This is their Craftform chisel drivers. Uh, what's unique about these is they are intended to be used as chisels. It's not an impact screwdriver. These are fully ready to be abused. Uh, part number on them will be WR018282. Uh, these are currently going to retail for like 5131 at KC Tool. I got them towards the waning days of the Vera promotion, which I think ended at the back end of March. I paid like $24.99 or $28.99, which is a really, really good deal on them. And uh, truth be told, had I have realized that these were available at that discounted rate, I probably would not have brought in the Channel Ox or the Astros. 
Uh, the channel ox, for what it's worth, those little cheap code blue ones, they've held up way better than I thought they would. Uh, and the Astros are actually a very impressive set of drivers. Haven't used them as much as the channel ox. But, uh, as I think the hail is starting to fall, it's pea-sized by the sound of it, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at this. Obviously, there will be a detailed look at these in a standalone video. 